Hey. All right, y'all, what's going on? Today is officially the first day of August. I hope everybody's having a great day so far, just beginning a work week. Welcome back to the Snake Eyes, it's the Dollar Channel. I know it's been a long time. I apologize. Not because I'm lazy, just there's a lot of shit been going on outside. You know, me having to work a 40-hour a forty hour a week job. And then it's honestly, it's been kind of crazy. Then, you know, I spent damn near the whole weekend stressing out about what kind of mic I got because I think... For the last month, I, I, I was like, I was telling myself, I'm like, you know what? In order for my quality music to really glow up, I'm gonna need a studio. But the problem is, the only studio I could find is $125 an hour. That's fucking outrageous, right? Obviously, I can't afford that. I'm not gonna sit up there and try to scrounge money because now I gotta really take a take a, a, a lift to work, and that's just like what, like $50 to $100 a week, and that's you know, it, it, it's a lot at the end of the day. So I'm trying to figure shit out right now, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you all, also. Suffering from a little bit, little bit of lack of a uh, motivation as far as like w wanting to keep going. It's, it's like I know that I'm I'm capable of achieving this dream. It's just that life has been kind of so tough that it kind of makes you not want to pursue it or not really go as hard. But nonetheless, I'm gonna get my shit together. I won't have y'all sitting up here waiting for a, a full month ever get for another video. I'm gonna do the best I can. If not every week, at least every every two weeks to, to let you know that I, I'm still breathing. I'm still making content. That way, I'm, just, I'm not leaving you guys in the dark, right? Because we, we we came so far. We still got some more to go. You know what I'm saying? We definitely far from done. But uh, it, it's, it's I'm not gonna lie. It's been rough. You know, a lot of thinking, and also a lot of stress, and also just kind of just battling between. I gotta keep going. I, I gotta keep being strong and staying disciplined. On the other side, it's like. Life is kind of discouraging me from keep going, so it, it's, it's a mental battle, but I'm sticking through it, all right? We back with another reaction from the cut. The name of this was going to be Eliminate Yourself from a Bad Date. Uh, I, honestly, I've been enjoying this series so far. Y'all guys remember uh, Hale, the lady that was going crazy on the bus. She was 30 years old and she, I, I'm not, you know what? Forget all that. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm fucking up already. Follow me on both my social medias. My Twitter is going to be snakeguys underscore w dollar. And my Instagram, all lowercase, snakeguys underscore w dollar. Apologize, guys. I cannot talk today. Also, like, comment, subscribe, for I kick all y'all asses. Now, I already know I'll do already. And, of course, you hear the moan just started outside. But, anyway, don't give a shit about none of that. Let's get to it. What are you up to right now? A boy man look like Russ with a kid in play kind of shit. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, hold, hold on real quick. His ass is like the barber from uh from Martin and shit. The one that the one that be like, hey, you don't tip. <laughs> God damn, what in the fucking Miami Vice Kurt Russell shit he got going on here, bro? I don't know what the fuck this is. The eighties called the one they wore drove back, bro. What the fuck is he gonna say? Uh, when the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all-expenses-paid second date. This is the best. Hi! I'm Jessica. I'm Tyler. Nice to meet you. Damn, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, Hi, I'm Tyler. Like, it's like, <laughs> like two fucking My Sims characters come together. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm, I'm Elizabeth. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm great. How about you? I'm doing splendid. Like, bro, like, the energy got to calm down a little bit, bro. You can't be that goddamn excited. You don't even know the woman. Like, damn. Welcome, you two. This round, we're doing something different. If I light up red, you bring check your side. So, if you feel like the date isn't going well, and you would like to escape that date, press me. Alright, start your date, you two lovebirds. <laughs> That's funny. So, what brings you here? Honestly, I feel like I'm too attracted to Seattle. Huh? Wait, wait, you, you, you know what? This, this, this is what I don't understand about women. I apologize for this loud ass moment. Anyway. Shut up! I'm waiting for this shit calm down. I don't feel like it. Anyway. Number one, I don't know why the fuck she talking like this man is a computer. That's first and foremost. So already I'm just like, it's all put. 
second. Y'all gonna have to deal with this shit. It is what it is. Bottom line. Okay. Alright, cool. They had all day to do this shit and they chose to do it at what? 539 in the evening. They something else. I get that a lot of women talk about astrology signs and all that shit and they really just be like, like they really weird with that shit and they just overemphasize that a lot. Stop expecting men to give a fuck about astrology signs the way y'all do, right? For whatever reason that may be, y'all feel like that your astrology sign, which don't exist, has no, is not set in any type of reality or anything factual whatsoever. Stop thinking that a man gives a shit about that. We as men, I mean, if you care about this, the sign shit, I mean, yo, just do you. I'm not saying all men don't care about it. Me personally, not only is it not rooted in any fact whatsoever, um, I'm not gonna like say the evidence. It's just, it's, it's made up shit, right? You, we, 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 we really don't care about that. Like, I'm just, like, I don't understand why a woman expects us men, who traditionally we don't really give a shit about it, because it's not rooted in any fact whatsoever, to actually know what, what our sign is. I'm not going to know because I don't give a damn about this shit. You know, you understand what I'm saying? That's something that y'all care about, but that's not something that we can... That, that's like me sitting up there like, I know a lot about football and music, right? And then maybe or, or rap, rap and R&B, right? So I... Okay, so that's like, okay, so I like football a lot. If y'all know me on this channel, y'all know I'll be reporting on the Eagles all the time. The Eagles is obviously my favorite team, right? And then when it comes to hip-hop and R&B, I am a musician. That's like me asking questions right off the bat. Before even asking if you're even interested in that type of stuff. That's like me asking you questions right off the bat. Is it if, And me assuming that you're interested in the same type of stuff that I am. It just don't make sense. It's weird. And it's just like she's very arrogant. And to be honest with you, I, she, she, she's, she, she's, she's not ugly, but she's very average looking to have the, the, this amount of arrogance. I don't get me wrong. I'm a confident motherfucker. And I be talking my shit from time to time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you talking like that and you you okay. At, you're, you're really average. You ain't like, oh my God, like I want to look at the phone screen when I look at <laughs> But look at your pictures that you be posting on Instagram and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're not that good. You're okay. But you ain't all that. You feel me? And I ain't type of nigga that be talking about other people's looks. Because I'm definitely, definitely, the most, I'm definitely not the most handsome nigga on the block. I cannot fucking talk today. I'm definitely not the most handsome nigga on the block. So I'm not going to, I'm not the type of person to sit there and talk about looks. But when you showing weird ass behavior, I'm going to roast the shit out you. You know how I operate on this channel. You, I, I do this every time. You know what I'm saying? So I, 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 really, I really don't, I, I don't get the, the level of arrogance because you're, what you are in reality and what you perceive in your mind to be is 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 totally opposite, to be honest with you. Oh, cool. I, I really like astronomy stuff because that's something new. Like, okay, really teach like, me something. Like, I don't, I'm not that good. It's <laughs> tough nigga, man. What a tough nigga, man. My nigga, my nigga, all right, all right, all right, listen, listen, listen. You, you're doing way too much. You took, like, you, you're, you're, like, I'm about to think you about to, like, start doing the, the fucking beats on y'all. Y'all think table, you be beating on the table and shit. I'm about to think about to start doing that, all right? Chill out with the energy. Skill it back stuff. You got to remember, you're having a regular conversation. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, my God. Oh, you really? Uh, 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 uh. Like, bro, chill. Like, skill it back some. But anyway, uh, with, with the dude, right, how are you gonna make a claim that you love astrology and then she and putting you on the spot like all right so you like what you like show me some stuff about t uh, like t t give me some information about about what 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 you claim that you like right and then you say well I don't know that much I'm like I, I love astrology <laughs> I love the stars I love the sky and then like uh, uh, well she like okay well t uh, show me something but you know what <laughs> I I don't really feel like I don't really know that much <laughs> I, I just sit it because to try to impress you you know just, you give me a compliment for free I don't know. <laughs> Right. I'm getting better at it, if that makes sense. It's just some senseless bullshit. No, it don't. My nigga, I would have hit that motherfucking button right then and there. First off, why are you referring to fr I don't know you, right? Why is the first thing you were as a woman, right? Because really, bitch is a really, it's, it's a derogatory term. I know that women use it among themselves the way black men use the, use the word nigga. I, I get that. I understand. But 
if I don't know you and you talking to me like I'm one of your one of your girlfriends or whatever, right? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't mean like girl, I mean like actual like like BFS shit like that. You talk to me about yeah, these bitches and something like I don't really like. I, I wouldn't hit the buzzer right then and there, but I don't know. Maybe he ain't got no confidence in himself that he maybe could pursue other options because right then and there, that's a red flag. Where you referring to people of your same gender? You know, as bitches. You know what I'm saying? It just don't make sense. I'm not going to refer to, like, I'm not going to make derogatory comments about people in my same gender as if you my best friend when I don't know you and we're supposed to be quote-unquote courting each other. You know what I'm saying? So maybe the dude feel like he not he ain't good looking enough. Maybe he don't have enough to offer to get other females. But if this was me, a high ass, would I would have been gone. I'd be like, you know what, man? I ain't, nah. I, I, I listen, I would have had an early exit out the show. I'm sorry. Right here, they're like, my hands are in my lap. They're in my lap now. But they weren't before, but they're now. <laughs> what the fuck, yo? <laughs> yo, but listen, like, again, what type of nigga want a woman like that? She's problematic as fuck. And I literally, she only been talking for like, what, a minute or two? She's problematic as hell, bro. Like, like I said, maybe the dude don't think he can get any better. But I'm here to tell you, you, you can. You just got to believe in yourself and exude that confidence. Jesus Christ. The fuck? You don't know the man. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, I, I hate women like this. Like, let me tell you something right now. I don't want to get to all my types and shit like that. But like I said, this woman is a hell no. Like, you think you that good. You're not. You average as fuck. You come in there dressed like fucking Monica on, on her first song and shit. I forgot what the name of the song was. Uh, I, I, I think Before You Walk Out My Life or some shit like that. That's how you dress it right now. You, your ass dress it like Laura from Family Matters, all right? So right now, dude, you, 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 you take your wardrobe for the 90s and shit. I, but, like, l l listen, at the end of the day, it's just like the the level of arrogance. Like, oh, okay, I would get it a little bit if you was like, God damn, like, I just want to sit up there and just like, you know how as a kid, right, we do the stupid ass shit. I don't, I don't know why I did it. My reasoning was is that when you got up close to the TV, the little loose, because when you get close to a screen, for some odd reason, your vision start getting hazy or whatever, and you start getting looped. So my stupid ass as a kid would thought that I, I, I enjoyed, like, standing right next to a television screen, staring at it, because I, I, I would see, like, the, uh, like, a whole bunch of target signs and shit. I was retarded. I don't know what the fuck I was on as a kid. But... You not like that to the point where I would go back to this dumb shit I was doing as a kid and like literally just take the damn laptop like this and just start staring at the bitch like come on like you're not that good look like you just tone it down a little bit yo you need it you need some humility like rest in peace Kevin Simmons I wish he was sitting right there mediating the whole thing I wish his ass was doing the buzzer I swear Paul same time damn you put that dude back with the big color shit. Wait, wait, did she? I almost, it's almost as if she didn't want to touch his hand. She was like, "Hey, I'm not nice to meet you." Like, <laughs> and you know the joke when you have like, like, like the the buzzer in his hand and shit when he bought the shock. He's like, "Hi, pal." <laughs> I said, <just>, "Oh." <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Why the fuck would he offer her fruit snack, nigga? I don't know if you put that shit in your pocket and then took it out and give it to her. Like, why the fuck? Like, why are you doing it? Like, yo, listen. When I do it, I wouldn't even do that shit. To me, that's just weird. I don't get why he's doing that. But, but like, what, whatever. To, to each his own. But if I'm gonna offer somebody something, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna make sure it's brand new. Cause I don't know you. I don't know where the fuck you. But I don't know where you got that fruit. I don't know if you pull that shit out of your ass or something. Like I don't, I don't know where you got the goddamn fruit snack from. But if I don't know you, I'm offering you something. I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get a new bag. Open it in front of you and then have you take it out first because you, we don't know each other like that. So I'm not going to sit there and trust that I'm going to, you know, I wouldn't trust nobody I don't know to give me something out the blue that's like raw. Like somebody eating chips because motherfuckers got to, we, we, matter of fact, we all got a bad habit of doing this. When we, when we open a bag of chips, we would like lick our fingers and then put our hand right back inside of the bag and shit and start eating. That's obviously unsanitary, especially for if, if I don't know who you are, you sit up there, you stick in. You know, you got saliva on your goddamn hand and shit. You putting the shit in the bag. Like, yo, you want something? Like, nigga, fucking keep that shit to yourself, right? That's all yours now. You march your territory, Paul. Is it short for something? Yeah, Muhammad. Muhammad, 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 Muh
Jesus Christ. He's one of those niggas that like don't know like when he's not funny. Like I hate motherfuckers that, like 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 listen. Each and every one of us have moments in our lives where like we try to be funny, me included now. But obviously this second part doesn't apply to me because I'm trying to entertain y'all. But we all got moments where we try to be funny and we try to like and like we, we got those moments where we, uh, like in our mind we be like, yo, like I I I think I'm funny today. But in reality, like when, when we start making jokes, you can look at the people's faces to see if you really are on point and they laughing or if they really not. You just force like to the point where your ass is like, <laughs> like you you literally standing up and trying to squirm in a chair to try to like make the shit seem more funny than it actually is or try to make her laugh and she not going for it. Like bro, you better off just being regular because you, you you're not funny, my nigga, at all. <laughs> like you like like I hate both. I hate like. This is one of the most important and probably the most underrated skill in life. Know when you're not funny. And when you're not funny, don't keep going. Stop. Now we're going to play this. You're not supposed to do that. What's your vision? Like, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to do? Like, you dumb motherfucker. You dumb ass. You can't plan somebody's vision. Like, you, like you, are you fucking, are you stupid? Like, listen. Obviously, in an ideal world, we all want our kids to grow up, to, to come out the womb ha uh, happy and healthy and want to, you know, obviously let, allow them to stay that way until they die. That's not how life works. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes shit happens and it's out of your control. But you, you're a fucking, like, you say it's stupid ass shit. Like, what are you talking about? That's not even something you actually can control. You can't control if your baby going to have birth defects. I mean, you can do the best you can to take care of your body, right, to, so that we to, to mitigate those factors. But if this shit happens, it happens anyway. Like, again, like I said, in an ideal perfect world, in, in a utopian world, we all want everybody to grow grow up and die living ha happy and healthy. But unfortunately, that's not the way the world works. We all get injured. We all fuck up. We all make mistakes. Like, like, like we all experience different things that, you know, flaws may come upon us and we might have to learn. We have, might have to learn life the hard way. It's just what it is. But, like, you just, that's like the stupidest fucking thing I've probably ever heard in my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. That nigga is sorry. I, I I don't know. I I think this nigga energy is off. He's just too goddamn giggly for me. <laughs> nigga, I got the fuck bit. Remember when I was imitating his ass on the last one? It's like this nigga just too like goddamn. Like this nigga really think he's funny. Like he the only motherfucker that probably laughed at his jokes. Like I swear, like Jesus Christ. Here we go. Why did you reject yourself? I'm like, I'm like a, a family man. Like, I really yeah, care right. about uh, my future, my family. I've been thinking about that since I was a kid. I'm, I'm a family bitch. What the fuck did you just say? Yeah, yeah, I know, but we already have... What the fuck? Like, yo, this woman, she got an issue, bro. I don't know. She must have, like, took some lines before. I ain't talking about, like, lines to, to, for, for the script. I'm talking about some fucking white lines, nigga. <laughs> Rick Ross type shit, huh? <laughs> Big boss. Anyway. She must have been doing some hard ass lie. What the fuck is you talking? Like you say it's stupid shit. Like, okay, first off, you keep referring to yourself and people of the same gender as a bitch. I'm already that's already off putting already. So you already about to get X the fuck out. Not only that, when we're talking about family, right? The idea of family is love and support and nurturing. If you refer to yourself as a family bitch, I didn't even heard of that dumb shit in my life. That shit is just, that's dumb. I can't even comprehend what that is. You refer to yourself as a bitch, are you supposed to be somebody's mother? Why the hell would I trust you to, 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 raise, the, to raise my kid? You know what I'm saying? It's going to be our kid, obviously, because he came out your womb. But why would I trust you to raise our kid? And you refer to yourself, instead of the, a mother of a child... Or my wife, or, or whatever. You're referring to yourself as as a family bit. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm glad her ass is out of here. Yo. That's crazy. I disagree with you. You said you wanted your kids to have 2020 vision. I'm like, I'm like okay, then have 2020. Like, I got it. Exactly. That's what I was saking. Like, it's not gonna work out. And you didn't even check my fruits. Nothing. That was kind of crazy. I quit. Okay. Nah, it's kind of crazy how you just no, you don't know. You just gave fruits back anyway. Nigga, let's say this up right now. If your ass was on the Avengers, if you was applying your 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 application, would be rejected immediately, bro. <laughs>
I don't know what's worse. Uh, I remember this fucking uh, what, what you call? It? I remember this Instagram post or whatever. They was like doing like some of like Anthony Mackie's like worst roles, and they was putting it on a television screen. They was trying to fit it into like one of the Avengers scenes. It was hilarious. That's what this shit reminded me of. Like talking about so you get underpaid not like. Who are you saying? You can't even save yourself. You can't even say. If somebody would say like, "Yo, put a parachute on you," it was free fall. You wouldn't even know how to pull a motherfucker. Like, like you, you, you would literally drown and die. Like, whatever. That that joke didn't come to fruition. But like, yo, you can't even help yourself. How I expect you to? How can I trust your judgment or trust you to go save other people? You can't even save yourself. You refer you keep referring to yourself and people in your gender as a bitch. Like, I don't. I don't know why my man wearing a hat. I, I, I know it gotta be hot in the room. It's fucking that room. They must be one of like the Cosby kids or some shit. Like, God damn, take that hat off, my nigga. They ain't gonna have a fat album too long. Oh, That's a personal statement? It's a personal statement? I, I ain't gonna look like that. Last time I checked it, last time I checked it was in the form of a piece of paper. I know pieces of paper look like that, but hey. I, I guess the world is changing. Jessica, I'm going to light up red, and when I do, you can protect yourself, and you're free to go home and work on that application. Good, get, her, get rid of her ass. Should we just go out? Is this is <laughs> Are you two really killing each other? The funny barely talked. Stop leaving. That's going pretty well. What's that roll on the phone? Yeah. Is emotionally open. Yeah, I'll try to be emotionally open. Yeah. I don't know what I mean. We can have a three hour conversation about this shit, but, like, man, if you know why you can't be emotionally open, you know why. I'm just saying, like, it's a different, it's a different thing with a man feel like, I'm sorry, like, I don't need to do, because, listen, if I get into the reason why men can't be emotionally open to the extent that a woman can, we really can't, like, we have to kind of reserve some of this shit, it would be a three-hour conversation, and we would never be able to play this video again. So, if y'all know, it's one of the things that, if, if y'all know, y'all know, and I'll just leave it at that. Bare minimum for what? Oh, really? I I always always vouch for therapy, especially like with men or male. Oh yeah. You know, like Yo, killing me with this. What the I, fuck? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't act like we the only fucked up niggas in the world. Like, there's women that's fucked up in the head, too. Like, listen, case in point, the first girl that ejected her, her, herself, she she was definitely needs some therapy. That's number one. Number two, okay? If you can always find an emotional outlet, it don't have to be through sitting on a uh, sitting on the couch talking to a random ass stranger. If you can find an emotional outlet, whether that be biking, swimming, for me making music, like, or and also you know, doing the entertainment shit, whatever that outlet may be, you find that outlet and you put all your problems, all your stresses into that outlet. And mo nine times out of ten, it, uh, like you, you should be fine as long as it's legal and it's healthy. Like if you find different outlets that you can release your frustration, release your problems, that that definitely should be a good thing. But like, I don't know. I just think that motherfuckers just try to use therapy as a crush. Like instead of thinking like, okay, I'm a, I'm not very good when it comes to certain areas of life. Like maybe my I, I lack people skills. Maybe I'm just a piece of shit. Maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe I just need to work on being nicer to people. Maybe I need to work on my stop talking to people any old kind of way. I need to be more respectful to people. It's like we try to hide character flaws as a way of saying, oh, I'm mentally ill. I can't do it. I can't do it. But no, like you, you, you just a fucked up person that needs to learn how to actually be better around people. That's it. But, like, stop hiding this, like, little, every time you got a flaw, every time you got something to work, you got to go, I need therapy. No, you fucking don't. You need to stop being a piece of shit and start actually treating people with, with love and respect as th the same thing that I'm assuming that you want. Or some people don't want it. I don't know. World changing every day. It's going well. I mean, I really like talking to you. Oh, yeah. It's she dodged the shit out that question. Um, it's going well. Yeah, I, I 
Yeah, Neil, that like, motherfucker. She wanted to say some other shit. She's like, um, 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 I don't really fuck with you like that, but um, I'm not gonna say. Oh, I mean, I can't say that. Oops, I, uh, we'll be good friends. I'll put it that way. Why did it take so long? You don't know the nigga. Why? Give him an opening line and he has just like, to Just like you audition with VeggieTales and shit. Many of you may be thinking, well, drugs don't concern me, but it does concern you. What the fuck? That's, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's what she, how she wanted him to do? I ain't gonna hold you. Sounded stereotypical to the motherfucker. I'm just saying. I, I, I didn't want to throw that out there, make it a race thing, but I'm just, I'm just saying. Why he gotta talk like that? Because he black. Like I just, I, I, li, li, listen. I'm not saying that's what it was. I just want to throw that idea out there. Why he got so like, yo, what's up, girl? What's happening, girl? What's, what, what it do, man? Like, what's, what's up, man? Like, let me hit that. Like, why he gotta talk like that? Cause he black. Like, what the fuck. Like, listen. I'm not saying that's what she meant by it. But I'm not entirely putting that out the equation. I'm just saying. Why are you saying stuff like Tell this? Me how why, you do me. why are you doing this? My nigga, you don't take no fucking advice, nigga. What are you doing, bro? You got your old brain. Take that fucking hat off so the blood, blood flow can start rushing to your brain. You don't take no advice, nigga. You a man. Why the fuck are you taking advice on how to talk to a woman by a woman? You know what I'm saying? Especially a woman you don't fucking know. If she didn't fuck with you, she didn't fuck with you at all. Take the goddamn hat off, nigga. Fat Albert ain't, by, ain't, ain't in the other room. God, the Cosby kid with dressing ball for Josh Hart looking ass. Take that shit off. Damn. What the fuck? She loves Jesus. I do too. Really? I honestly, there is nothing better than Huh? Is, is, is he fucking it up because he just don't like her? That, that's what I'm thinking. Because right now, this nigga just doing so much. Like, he fumbling bad. This nigga fumbling more than Melvin Gordon, nigga. Fuck out of here. It, is that not what you said? I love Jesus, not cheese. What? Take that hat off your head, bro. God, leave. Okay. Yeah, you need to. Focus, focus, nigga. African we fuck out of here, yo. <laughs> bro. Why do we need two unskippable ads? You see how YouTube be doing that shit, bro? Damn, nigga. That's like a borderline, like, sexual assault, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you? You don't walk up on a woman like that you don't know? What the fuck? Who, who taught this nigga how to get with, yo? That nigga been watching too much Andrew Tate or something, but I don't think Andrew Tate do, do no shit like that. But that's, yo, that nigga wildin', bruh. What the fuck? This nigga just came, you don't know who the fuck, yeah, even said in the caption, no, I don't know who you are. I don't know who the fuck this nigga is either. Nigga like fucking Russ on heroin and shit, bruh. Fuck out of here. What are you doing? You fucking up. Nigga did the YK Osiris. Yeah, I was like just trying to go after you and Yo, my nigga, butt that shit up, my nigga. Like, no, number one, pause about what I'm about to say. Number one. Unless, unless your body looking like, and pause, like, I, I, I don't have to say this shit, like, pause before I continue what I'm saying. If your body ain't, like, chiseled or whatever, or, like, something that's like, yo, I guarantee I'm gonna get the girls with this type of body, button that motherfucker up, nigga. Well, I forgot, uh, what, what was it, sorry don't fucking, uh, Beverly Hills Cop, like, I don't know, it's not sexy. Donny, this is kind of the sound. It's I'm like sorry. the brace of a dog to scrub for the customer. It's not sexy, it's an animal. No. Everything okay? You came in and kissed her. Are you comfortable, Ashley? Do you two really know each other? Yeah, we do. It's unfortunately. What the fuck? Are you close? Or I haven't seen him since like what junior high school? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a minute. So. Mm, I don't know about that. So. <laughs> this shit is allowed. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clap it up. 
Clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah, it was bad. I wish this nigga would've hit it so he can get the fuck up out of here. He about to ruin this shit, yo. Hey, her ass is like fucking, uh... What was Roseanne's friend name? I, I think her name was Jackie. That's what her ass look like right now. <laughs> Jackie got it, probably got out of Roseanne's house to get a man. <laughs> Tied her ass sleeping on the couch. <laughs> The Happy fuck? This nigga making this show bad. Like, he's fucking it up. We were just out on a date and we saw Steven just oh. out at the bars. He was working my corner. Pause, pause, pause. As I usually do. Nigga, pause. I was working the corner. <laughs> corner. <laughs> and a fun fact about Chloe. She once had a drink with her Jason. The fuck? I, I know that buzz got to be loud as shit. What's he doing? Hey, that remind me. I I remember I worked at Walmart one point in time. It's like they got like that, you know, when that alarm go off, that shit start buzzing. That's like you putting your ear right next to it. I'm pretty sure that butt is loud as fuck for everybody to hear. I don't know what the fuck, but I don't know what kind of hard drive this nigga on, but like he fucking up the show. Like he genuinely is. I'm gonna keep it going so hopefully that this shit can be wrapped up. Cause I I, I think he fucked. Did he might have made this button the worst episode I've seen. Like, he just, his cringe ass behavior. Like, what the fuck? He just went in and tried to kiss the girl out of nowhere because they happened to know each other from back then. Like, this nigga did this uh, weird, yo. Well, you're still alive, so. I mean, what yes. the fuck I do yeah, anything? Good thing. I know we cheers. Oh, it was pretty dangerous. That's at a bar. I know OJ Simpson. I know OJ Simpson. What the fuck I, I do anything? What? What? What the fuck is this nigga talking about? I'm rejecting myself, right? Yeah. I'm Steven. Quit. Quit. Oh, very nice to meet you. The fuck is wrong with this nigga? Yo, this sexual assault, bro. On camera. What? I'm David. Not a bad place. Okay, okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Like, look at my hand. Like, this is a big ass ass. The fuck? This nigga, like. Hey, this nigga act like one of them fucking stupid ass, like, you know, like, the 90s sitcoms or the 90s movies and shit, like, back to, like, Biff from Back to Future. That's like this nigga act, this nigga's behavior is cringe as fuck, like a dumb jock behavior, bro. Like, what the fuck, what's wrong with this nigga? This nigga, they're doing sexual assault on camera, they're allowing this nigga to do this shit. Get this nigga the fuck up out of here, yo. Eggs are, people have daddy issues. Do you have daddy issues, Clint? No, we might not really like this. Hey, Dad. Absolutely, that's, that's amazing. That probably was a little funny. Okay. Okay, watch, 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 watch. Hi, Steven, are you okay bringing in Christopher? No, sorry. Only what they wasted this nigga cocaine, bro? Like, this nigga took a lot longer than a DMV. I swear to God. Oh, I remember her. I forgot. I forgot. Like, I remember one of the other episodes. I hope his ass don't come back. I swear. Well, I was just saying that, almost. Is he, is a hopeless romantic, and terrified of relationships? What are you doing there, then? I'm like... <laughs> That's a good question. I accidentally ruined things for myself on purpose, and I'm scared. Do you like your blessings? A little bit. It's like, I don't believe in dating apps, I don't do, I don't use any of the dating apps. Are you telling me you're not on Tinder? No, I'm not. Really? Yes. What the I fuck is a dating app have anything to do with y'all in person having a conversation? It's an in-person date. What's the fuck? Does it, what does that dating have anything to do with anything? Dating apps. I don't like meeting people online. My like social media is very private. Yeah, I'm a reserved. Yeah, so I'm a reserved. Right. Be honest. She probably got, got some pictures for some OnlyFans. She's trying to keep on lock or something. No. <laughs> but like seriously, if you're not, this is what I don't understand about motherfuckers, right? If you're not posting nothing crazy on social media, I don't understand what's the. What's the point of having it private? I, I really don't like like honestly y'all tell me in the comments I don't understand why y'all have your social media private. If you're not doing no crazy shit on there, I, I don't get why I don't understand why y'all keeping it private. It's just weird. Each other. Each other. Because at, at the end of the day, like worst worst case scenario, right? If you do some crazy shit, your shit's online regardless. So they they they, they they're gonna you know the authorities gonna be able to do what they gotta do. So if you do, if you out there doing crazy shit, they're gonna unlock your shit and find out what they need to find out. So you you keeping that shit private. Okay, that's good for everybody. You're a regular nigga, but fucking CIA or FBI, they they want your shit. They gonna have it. 
Pause. You not high in that shit? Yeah, I'm high as fuck. But 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 my my, my nigga like sorry my fault I don't know why I'm referring to talking about it like that my fault I just got caught up but look I'm I'm gonna keep it real okay he not just your friend y'all living together so if you bring it another guy over and then you got a guy in the house like literally the yo the simple way to test if the nigga wants you or not the same test that they put on YouTube and shit hey yo listen like. To ask the girl to be like, yeah, like I, I, I want to make love to you or some shit, and then see the guy's reaction. And if you say, yeah, let's do it, then that mean that nigga was just sitting there and waiting for his opportunity. That's it. So that 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 that's any type of girl. I'm gonna tell you that what I'm gonna do. Any type of girl say to me, well, 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 well yeah, you are you just friends? I'm like, I, I'm like, all right, bet. So call him right now and tell him that you want to fuck him, and then and, and, and then let and then go go hear his reaction. And I promise you, the answer. Well, almost be every time. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I'm down. Watch. Do you want to go on a date with each other? I'm open to see what happens. I'm not really sure yet. If you don't feel like on that second date, I want you to both press me at the same time together. What do you want to do? I'm okay. I'm okay to go on a second date and just. Just go on a date, though. Okay. Then let's press it. One. All right. No matches today. What was his reason? It's okay. I understand. Both of you, get out of here. Damn. <laughs> Kicking your ass out. <laughs> He'll shoot your eye out. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I, I would have loved to hear his reason behind what, why he decided that's going to go on the second day. I don't know why, I don't know why he did uh, the buzz. I guess they just had a time slot or whatever. But anyway, that nigga, that little Russ looking motherfucker, he ruined the show. This has got to be probably the worst and the most, the least entertaining episode that I've seen so far. Um, but it's over with. At the end of the day, I know it's been a long time since I put out any content. Uh, I wish, honestly, I wish we should have got this shit done, like, probably, like, a couple weeks ago. That way, like, if we're going on to something new and more exciting. Because, I don't know, the Haley video, the, the one from last, the last, the, the, the last time we reacted to, that shit was fire. Alright, that's pretty much it, y'all. I don't have nothing else to say. Um, like, comment, subscribe, as always. Brother got big dreams, but don't have a big bank account. Make sure y'all go, bleh. Make sure I hit that GoFundMe link down below in the description. Also, Play It Till I Die is out. Working on and trying to get some more music out. It's just, you know... Don't get me started. I'd rather not say shit. But I'm trying to get some new music out in the works. Uh, it's in the process of getting mixed and mastered again. I don't even want to feel like sharing the details of what the fuck's going on with that. I'd rather leave with that, alright? Enjoy y'all. The rest of y'all work with whatever. Um, I'm gonna try to get this video out in a week or two so that way y'all yeah, can just have it and I can just you know, put some shit together. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Okay, and, and enjoy y'all day. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, right. I love y'all. I'm out. Bye.